Morning guys! Before you say anything, yes, I'm sitting on the floor. No, I'm not really sure why. I just thought I, I, I'd give you another angle of my place. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I kind of like it though. Uh, maybe I should sit on the floor more often. Uh, anyways, I'm just about to go outside. The sun is shining and I want to go to the bookstore and pick up some books that I ordered, which have arrived. So some of them have been lying in the in the store waiting for me for quite some time i hope they didn't throw them out it just i hope they kept them somewhere um i i think they did so um yeah let's go i guess So I just picked up the books and I think there were like nine or ten or something like that. So my whole backpack is now filled with books and now I'm gonna carry them home and I'll take a look, a closer look. <laughs> Alright, so I made it back home. This is my backpack full with books. My trip took a bit longer than anticipated um, because I met some people I know and they had kids with them so I kind of accompanied them to the playground um, and I just crawled around in the sand. <laughs> Um, which is, it was very sandy but it was okay I guess. Um, yeah, but so let's just unbox my backpack and see what I what I bought. Um, so the first book I picked up is The Mask of Mirrors by M.A. Carrick, which is a fantasy book. And from what I know, it's about... So there's one like con artist who wants to marry into another family because she thinks they have money, but they don't. And that family, they get suspicious of her because they are like, but we don't have any money, what the hell is she doing? Um, and I think it's like Venetian culture with all the masks and stuff. I'm not really sure, but it sounds very interesting and it's, um, it looks like the kind of book that might entertain me. And that's why I, why I had to pick it up. <laughs> so the next book that I bought is The Golem and the Genie by Helen Wecker. Um, this is kind of a funny story because I picked up the sequel that I will show you later on because it's at the bottom somewhere. Um, and I did not know that that one was the sequel to this one and that's why I had to buy this one too. <laughs> and now I bought two books from a series without ever having read any of the books in the series. Um, so if that one sucks I have a hardback that I paid 28 euros for, which I will never read, which is, which will be annoying if it comes to that, but I hope not. So um, I don't really know what this is about, but I think it's a kind of an alternate history book, a bit steampunky maybe, and with magical elements, <laughs> I guess. And it's about a golem and a genie, I assume. Um, I think I picked it up, or I picked the sequel up, because it was, um, I was looking for books that were like a, a Master of Jinn, because I kind of liked the setting with the, the um, parallel history and all the magical elements in those books. And that's when I stumbled upon the Hidden Palace, I think it's called, the sequel. Um, and that's where I was like, oh yeah, it looks nice, I'll pick it up. Um, yeah, but now I have two books from the series and I will have to find out if I like them or not. So the next book I picked up is a romance book, One Less Stop by Casey McQuiston. Um, I think everyone and the mother has read this book till now because it's been so, so um, popular on booktube. Um, this is actually the German edition. I was 
kind of shocked, not shocked, but I was surprised when I saw it in a, in a local bookstore um, and there was German words written on the cover and I was like, it's already got a German release. I, I mean, we have to wait for fantasy novels for like two to three to four years if we ever get them. But this one, um, I think it was published the same time the English version was published. Um, and yeah, so I picked up the, the German version and um, I think I don't have to tell you what it's about because everyone knows it's about this girl who's on the train and she's from a different time and then there's this girl and they meet and they fall in love. I guess that's that sums up the story quite nicely, maybe. And um, yeah, I, I have discovered that I do like romance books and I hope I will like this one as well. So the next book that I picked up is a middle grade and that one is Race to the Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse. I really adored uh, Black Sun by the same author and I have been in the mood lately for reading middle grade fiction fantasy and this one's it's very short. It's 300 pages and it's so slim. I, I, I haven't seen such a slim book in quite a while. Um, but yeah, so I, I had to pick it up because I like the Black Sun book um, very, very much. And yeah, I'm looking forward to reading this. I don't really know what it's about. I assume there will be a girl riding on a bird with a bow mm -hmm. and something to the sun, race, a race to the sun. Yeah, that's what it says. <laughs> I, I don't really want to know. I just, I want to find out. So the next book that I picked up is not a fantasy book. It is A Convenience Store Woman by Sayaka Murata. Um, this is the German edition with those cute fish and it's not very long. I think I will finish this quite fast when I decide to pick it up eventually. Um, yeah, but I was really curious because I've seen this book around and people have been praising it and I thought, yeah, you, sh you should pick it up. And I did. <laughs> so I think it's about a woman who works at a convenience store and she's satisfied with her life, I think, but people tell her other things. I don't know, but I'm very excited to read this because I think it could be a very, very good book. So the next book that I picked up is Gearbreakers by Zoe, Hanya, ha, Zoe Hana Mikuta, um, which is about robots and sapphic romance. So um, I guess it's a five-star book. <laughs> I haven't read it yet. I will find out. Um, but it sounded very, very interesting and I like some giant robots sometimes. Um, so this was kind of a no-brainer. I had this on my list for quite some time and um, it was released recently in May or June or something. So I, I had to go and grab it. Okay, so the next book that I picked up is Fire with Fire by Destiny Soria. Um, I read another book by this author called Beneath the Citadel, um, which was a fantasy book. And that one was okay. I think I read it like three stars. Um, I enjoyed it, but it was not the best book that I've ever read. Uh, but just look at the cover. <laughs> it just looks so cool. <laughs> and I, I'm, I, I mean, show me a pretty cover and I will pick up your book. Um, so I think there's two versions of the book. I think this one might be the, um, the US version, uh, which I assume because the price is in dollars. Um, and I like this one way more than the other one. The other one was kind of meh, but I really adore Door this cover. It, it looks so cool and it's about dragons and sisters and that's all I know about it but I'm excited to pick it up and I hope that it's better than Beneath the Citadel um, because that one was kind of so-so for me uh, but I have to say that I remember most of what happened in the book till this day and I've read it. I read it last year so like a year ago um, and I'm usually very forgetful, so I think that's a good sign that I still remember all the stuff that uh, was going on in the book. Um, and yeah, I'm very, very excited to pick this one up. So the next one that I bought, I don't know how I stumbled upon this book. Um, it's The Babysitter Coven by Kate Williams. I, I think it's a kind of satire, urban fantasy, 
Horror Babysitting Monster Book. I, I don't really know, but look at that cover. <laughs> I mean, it, it looks so good. I, I don't know, I just had to buy it. Um, and it says that it's candy for 90s girls and Gen Zers. Is that a word? I'm no Gen Z person, but I'm a 90s girl, so it is for me, right? And there is a sequel, and I think a, a third book is coming out in September or something. So if I like it, I can pick up the next two books in the series um, quite soon. And it just looks so good. I think it's it's such a good idea for a cover and the title on the shirt. It just I I just like the cover. Okay, so the next book that I picked up, I also bought because the cover is pretty and I don't know anything about it. So this one is called The Down Days by Ilse Hugo. Um, I think it's a post-apocalyptic story and that's all I know. But look at this cover. Ah, oh, it looks so good. I just, I just love the colors and the... Oh, it's just so pretty. <laughs> if you have seen my recent video where I compare covers to other covers, um, you know that I like a pretty book and this one's super pretty. And I hope that the, the content of the book matches the pretty exterior, um, because if it does, this book will be awesome. The next book that I picked up is Mostly Void, Partially Stars by um, Joseph Fink and Jeffrey Craner. So I don't know if you know the Welcome to Night Vale podcast um, or the novels. So I'm just reading the first novel, Welcome to Night Vale, which is a really absurd, absurd science fiction book. It's super, super weird. And it's weird in a good way because all the stuff that happens in this book, it's kind of nonsensical, really. Um, but in a good way and so far so I have read like 160 pages so I'm not through yet but so far I really enjoy this book and um, it is so the the novel Welcome to Night Vale it's the first novel based on the podcast series by the the authors um, also called Welcome to Night Vale and this book is a collection of the first I don't know how many, but the first podcast episodes, so I don't have to listen to the podcast. <laughs> Not that I don't like listening to podcasts, but um, I think it's like shorter episodes that take place in the same universe and in Night Vale, the city, the, the novel takes place in. And I'm really interested in that because it's so absurd and like such things because it's cool. I, I like nonsensical stuff and that's why um, I decided to pick it up because I like the novel so far and I think I will like it till the end. That's what I expect. Um, and then I can just dig into the original stories from the podcast. Okay, and the final book I already teased. It's The Hidden Palace by Helene Wecker. Ooh, it's not Helen. Is it Helen? I don't know. Um, this one is so, so pretty. It's just such a pretty book and I think it's also very pretty um, beneath the dust jacket. Okay, it's, it's not that pretty, but I really like how it looks and how it feels. It has this like papery feel to it. Um, and yeah, that's why I bought it. And then I discovered that it's a sequel. So I had to buy the first one in the series. Um, and here we are. Uh, yeah, I hope I like the first one so that I will read this eventually. Um, but for now, it will be on my shelf waiting for me to be read. Um, but it looks so good. <laughs> I, I like look, good looking books. I just... Uh, the, the spine is also very good looking and it will do great on my shelf. So that's it from me for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you're very welcome to leave a comment, like this video and subscribe to my channel. Um, and if you didn't, I'm very sorry that you had to sit through this video and watch all the content that I 
filmed. Why did you do that? Anyways, <laughs> see you next time. Bye.